and welcome back. Today I want to show you my tips and tricks for removing the Sensationelle Gel Manicure. It can be quite tricky because the primer is such a superb product that it tends to hold the polish sometimes a little too well when it comes to removal. So I want to share with you what I do to make the removal process just a little easier. First you're going to need to gather some cosmetic cotton rounds that we're going to cut up. You also need to make sure that you have some aluminum foil. Any brand is okay. You also need to make sure that you have 100% pure acetone. Pure acetone is what we will need. You also need to make sure that you have your little file that comes in the Sensational kit. One side is pink, one side is black. If you have lost your file that came with your kit, that's okay. Just make sure that you get a very rough grained emery board, not one that's typically used for filing, but one that is used for roughing up the surface of a nail. Also, you need a pair of scissors because we're gonna cut this aluminum foil to size. Now the first thing that I like to do is to take these cotton rounds and I cut them in half. First of all, I just go right down the middle. Then I take each half and cut them in half again. And I will continue doing this until I have all 10 pieces of the cotton rounds, one for each finger. The next thing that you need to do is to get your aluminum foil. I open up my foil and I pull off a section that is about three to four inches wide. And I just go ahead and cut that right off of the box that it comes in. And then I take this section, it'll be long, look like this, and I cut it into five equal parts. I can get a full hand out of one sheet of the foil. So I do that twice to make sure that I have 10 equal pieces of the foil. But you want to take the rough edge, the black edge of your Sensational file and just lightly rough up your surface. You don't want to do this too much because if you do it too much, it's going to actually smooth the polish back out and then the acetone won't be able to seep through. So make sure that you go ahead and go along and do this to each one of your nails to get the surface prepared for the acetone. Just real lightly rough up the shiny surface from your gel top coat. I have all of my aluminum foil pieces now cut and I'm just going to lay that down opposite the way that is comfortable for me to lay my hand. I take one of my cotton rounds that I have cut into the little quarters and we want to make sure that we get the acetone on it well. It should be soaked where you can fill it on both sides. Lay your cotton round down then place your finger on top of that. Pull your aluminum foil together at the top and then the easiest way for it to stay secure is if you will bend like a little triangle in the side that is closest to the palm of your hand. At that point just hold it in place with your thumb, continue to wrap that on around your finger, squeeze the top and bend towards the front. This will keep the pressure against the flat part of your nail, which is where you want the acetone to sit. So make sure to fold it this way and it will keep the pressure on the nail. And we're just going to continue through the rest of our five fingers this way. Now the thumb is a little trickier. I usually hold that one up and I hold, the I hold the cotton round on top of it because it's hard for me to uh, lay my hand upside down. I'm definitely not that coordinated or double jointed or whatever you want to call that. So I put that around and I still am able to get my triangle on there. It's just a little trickier to hold. So the more you do it, the better you'll get at it, the more comfortable you'll get and you'll know exactly how to apply that pressure. Now just go along and give each of them a good squeeze then we're going to set our timer for 20 to 25 minutes and then we'll be right back to show you how to remove these and scrape the gel polish off. Okay, so now our time has passed and we are going to begin the removal process. Now what I like to do is just give it a good squeeze one last time and keep the pressure on as you pull that off. And you will notice that it took all of the color off then you will still see that the gel is still on there and it's beginning to bubble up and you should be able to take any type of removal tool that you have. Sensationelle has one that I have not yet been able to purchase but I've heard great reviews about it. This here of mine is just one that came in a regular 
manicure kit and a lot of people just use a regular wooden orange stick and you kind of have to give it still just a little bit of a scrape be gentle you don't want to hurt the surface of your nails if for some reason it's not coming off quite good enough then you just need to go ahead rewrap them and let them soak just a little bit longer because you don't want to damage your natural nail but if you go along and just lightly scrape on there you should be able to scrape the gel polish right off okay and if you need to turn your finger around just so that you can get up there a little bit at a better angle feel free to do that and once you can tell that you've gotten all of that shiny gel off of there you're done and it is as simple as that on how to remove your sensational gel manicure. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.